Hey everybody, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create your own custom frame using Canva and a couple other free to tools. And you can have a Canva free account. So everything that I'm going to walk through is going to be something that you can utilize for free. For those people that are Canva Pro users, I will point out steps that you can bypass through this process. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm at the Canva home screen and I am going to use my pro Canva, um, but you can do this absolutely for free. So from the home screen, I am going to go over and I'm just going to choose a square post. So we'll do an Instagram post. Now, the trick here is when you go to elements and you're looking for an image, if you're on the free account, you will only see, well, you'll see the Canva Pro versions, but you want to look for one that's free, but you also want to look for a solid one. So I'm over here and I'm going to choose free. And what you want to do, yes, this is a solid color, but it's two solid colors. So if you are going to use this flower, for example, when it goes to transfer, to a frame, this flower outline here will be one frame and this circle will be one frame. So we wanna try and stay away from that. If you wanted to use that, that is totally fine. So I am going to delete that and I am going to look for a solid one. Okay, here is one that we can use and I wanna make sure it's free. It is, so we're going to bring this in and I am just going to make it bigger. And I always like to turn it black. As long as it's a solid color, it should be fine, but I'm going to turn this one black. Then what I'm going to do for the Canva Pro users, when you download, you would wanna download it as an SVG, so with a transparent background, and you'll have to, so you'll be able to skip the next step. But for people with a Canva free account, what you wanna do is you wanna download a PNG because you won't have this option, just go ahead and click on download and it's going to download the image. Then we wanna go over to a site called convert.io. And what this is going to allow you to do is you are going to choose your file And this will convert it from a PNG to an SVG. So it's uploading right now and it's going through the conversion process. And it'll just take a minute to convert it. And when it's ready, you'll be able to download the file. So you wanna download that. And you'll notice in your downloads over here, it downloaded, it's an SVG. The next program you wanna use is a free program called Figma. And if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and sign up for account. It's absolutely free. So we're going to click on new design file. And then up over here at the square, <clears throat> we're going to hit the drop down and we're going to do place image. And I am going to choose that SVG that I just converted. So then what you would want to do is drag it. And then you'll notice over here, you see groups. <clears throat> Excuse me. So click on the arrow and then choose the vector because that's going to choose the actual flower. Then on the right hand side, you want to come over here and you want to select fill. And then up here where it says solid, you want to choose image. And then right here in the middle, it's kind of hard to read. You wanna say, choose image. So I am just going to pick a random image. I will choose this paint splash one. And you'll notice it filled it. So from this point, you're good to go. What you need to do next, and this is quite important, 
is over on the export, you want to click on the plus sign. You want to hit the drop down where it says PNG and you want to choose PDF. If you don't choose PDF, it will not work. So make sure this says export vector. So then you want to click on export. And you'll notice it's exporting the file. It says vector PDF. So then what we want to do is we want to come back to Canva at the home screen. We want to choose projects. Over here on the right hand side, we want to click on add new and we're going to say upload. And I'm going to choose that vector file. And we're going to go ahead and wait for it to upload. It might take just a minute. And these are the only tools that you need. Now for Canva Pro users that um, when you download as an SVG with a transparent background, you don't have to go to convert.io to convert your image. You can just go straight into Figma and upload that design. So once it's downloaded, we're just going to click on it to open it. And you'll notice here that I have my design right here. So if I were to click on it and then hit delete, it changes to this little sky and greenery. From here, you can add any image. So if we come over here to photos, we can choose any photo. So we'll put the cat in there. And that is how you have your custom frame. From this point, what you would want to do is delete out the picture or leave it in, but you want to save this file and I'm going to call it a flower frame. You want to save this to a folder or save it somewhere. So that way, if you wanted to use this frame again, you don't have to go through that whole process of getting it, downloading it, converting it, and bring it back in. You will always have it. So I would recommend that you come over here to File, Save to Folder, and I believe I already have a folder. It says Custom Frames, and I'm going to save it there. That way, I already have it. Now what you can do is if you have other images online, those images don't have to come from Canva. If you had some other solid images online or you had some in your files, you could follow the same process and still bring it into Canva. I hope you found this helpful. If you would like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and get notified and you'll be notified when new videos drop.